So next speaker is the Dr. Sukit Patra Chiapan. He is the co-editor surgeon working in the surgical endoscopy to Lalongkorn Hospital, Bangkok, Thailand. He's the expert in the colonoscopy, including the advanced therapeutic procedure. He done a lot of the study and publication. You can check it out on the department. And he will give a talk about uh, dealing with the difficult colonoscopy. Please, Professor Sukit. Thank you very much for your kind introduction. Uh, okay. Today, my talk about uh, dealing with, with difficult colonoscopy. Okay, for colonoscopy, the goal is to reach the cecum safely uh, and then inspect entire colon. To, to reach that uh, colonoscopy to the goal, I mean, sometimes it might be the difficult because of the intraperitoneal segments could be written then like a transverse colon and sigmoid colon and many angulation of the colon could be narrow and fixed and really sharp to, to pass. So this is the scope guide of the complex looping that we can face during the colonoscopy. And sometimes we face with the fixed resistance in the angulation. Uh, unexpectedly, sometimes we could face with the lighter, really layer when the entire abdominal hernia uh, and colon go inside to the to the hernia sac, so it would be very difficult and maybe impossible to to reach the cecum. So today I will cover about how to deal with it. My topic will cover on the definition of difficult colonoscopy, risk factors, etiologies, and how to deal with it. Uh, this is the AGA guideline that the they mentioned that the colonic insertion, colonoscopy insertion to the cecum is one of the critical quality indicator that we should reach to the cecum 90% or more for our colonoscopy. And for the screening colonoscopy, we should reach about 95% because they expect that it would be easier for the screening colonoscopy. Uh, but sometimes it could be difficult. What is difficult colonoscopy? It's a little bit subjective. Uh, some endoscopists might use the longer duration of the time to reach the cecum. Some might use the endoscopic sweat or the patient discomfort. But uh, the most common definition that endoscopists accepted would be very simple. It is the one in which it was challenging or not possible to reach the cecum. So this, uh, most literature use this definition. The risk factor for difficult colonoscopy could, could classify into the endoscopic factor and patient factors. I will begin with the endoscopic factor, uh, the, the expertise. This is the picture that uh, a great example that the difficulty sometimes created by endoscopists themselves. Uh, many years ago, my my fellows uh, asked me that uh, she cannot uh, reach to the cecum. So when I went in at that time, I found that that is the complex loop outside patient's body, like you can see. So if you have the loop outside body, surely when you do the colonoscopy, there will be some loop inside body too. You cannot collect both inside and outside looping. So that's why the basic techniques for colonic intubation is very critical. Colonic intubation should be one-to-one -one movement. When you move the sharp in one, the tip motion should go in one-two. If it's not one-to-one -one movement, it will be the, some looping or bending. Uh, so you have to push forward and pull back when you do the colonoscopy. Like I mentioned, uh, we have to maintain the C-shaped cord, the cord outside patient's body should not be twisted. So this is really critical. Right now, uh, if you put too much gas inside the patient colon, it will be colonic elongation and many sharp angulation. So many times it would be more and more difficult. Right now, the technique called the water immersion technique that you put the water inside the patient's body uh, instead of the gas, it would be make the procedure easier. Uh, the, the colon will be shorter and the angulation will be lesser. So right now, the water immersion technique is the popular one that, especially for the difficult colonoscopy. 
and you need to know when to do the abdominal pressure and change the patient's position. Uh, in addition, for the you have to know the 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 device. Uh, there are the adult and pediatric colonoscope. Sometimes you you may know you have to know when to use them. The the adult colonoscope it is larger, so it cre create less looping and lessen the need for the abdominal pressure. Anyway, the the cons is that the when you have to pass the angulated colon or stricture colon, uh, the adult colonoscope uh, may be uh, are more difficult to do that. But in contrast for the pediatric colonoscope, it is slimmer, but uh, it, it needs more the abdominal pressure to like the, because it creates the looping more. So, however, a uh, pediatric colonoscope, it is the better if, if you want to pass the angulated and stricture colon. This video will show you when they make the turn, the adult colonoscope above will make the really, really uh, wider radius to make a turn compared to the pediatric colonoscope below, uh, they, they, uh, it makes the sharp turn so it will be easier to pass the angulated colon. The next accessory you need, water jet. Because, uh, like I mentioned, difficult colonoscopy usually need the water immersion technique. So when you want to put the water in, water jet is really necessary. The scope guide by Olympus, it is really, really useful too, because when you put the scope in, especially for the difficult one, uh, it, it will give you the picture, the loop inside the body, so you can collect uh, it as you can see that what happened. Next is the patient factors. Colon prep is very really important. The worse the colon prep is, the more difficult you will face for sure. And for the gender and age, female has longer transfer colon X centimeter than male. So looping occurs more for the woman. And the younger patient has the tighter mesentery, so the pain threshold will be lower compared to the older one. Older one. Uh, the obese patient and skinny patients are also difficult to, to do the colonoscopy. For the obese patients, sometimes you cannot do abdominal pressure and to prevent the loop. It will be really difficult. And for the skinny patient, the whistle of fat will be lower, so they will, will be more redundant and angulated colon. The prior abdominal surgery make the adhesion in to the colon, so you will face with more fixed and resistant when you do colonoscopy. For abdominal wall hernia, surely if the colon go inside the sac, it will be more difficult. This is a landmark paper by Douglas Lex. Uh, this is about the uh, he described the three anatomical problems when you face with the difficult colonoscopy. First, redundant colon. Second, angulated narrow sigmoid. And third, the abdominal wall hernia. If you face with the redundant colon, he mentioned that if loops repeatedly occur, even you do abdominal pressure or the change the patient position, you should withdraw the scope while the suctioning the gas and start all over again with the following method. The first, use adult colonoscope because it's, it's, it's the best for redundant colon and use water immersion technique. This will, will keep the colon short and use the ab abdominal pressure early to prevent the loop forming. When you reach the sigmoid colon, you just ask assistant to do the ab abdominal pressure. Like I mentioned, water-assisted colonoscopy uh, creates the less loop formation and less uh, angulated colon and less pain for the patients. Uh, many studies show that uh, it increased uh, fecal intubation rate, especially for difficult cases. However, if you do, do, do not have the good bar population, it's very difficult and maybe it is a contraindication to do water immersion technique because the 
When you dive into the dirty water, it is create more dangerous situation. So bio population is really crucial for difficult cases. For the narrow angulated colon, is this common in the diverticular disease? Previous pelvic surgery and the previous radiation, you need the pediatric colonoscope. If it fails, you use outer thin colonoscope or gastroscope. The same as the redundant colon, you need water immersion colonoscopy to steaden the, the sigmoid angle. Uh, you should use the acid keeping shortening technique uh, proposed by Kudo Sensei. I will mention it uh, later and use the proper patient position. Acid keeping shortening techniques uh, developed by Kudo Sensei, uh, he described how to pass the descendo sigmoid junction easier. You can see that the normal, it will be N shaped, like in the picture, but if you just light talk and pull back, the axis of the colon can be stayed and pass it very easy. Uh, this picture may be get a better understanding of this technique. When, when you reach the, the proximal sigmoid colon, it will be like the picture one. And when, if in this situation, if you push and keep pushing, it will be more angulate and more angulate. So it will be more difficult. Actually, you need to do right talk and turn back, like the picture two and three, to steaden the axis of the colon. So this technique will make it easier to pass this junction. Uh, Kudo Sensei also recommend to do the completion of the lower abdomen while, while you can try to pass it. But the best of the post patient's position, uh, usually we have the three major angulation. Uh, what is the best? It depends on the it is left side or right side fracture. For the left side fracture, like the splenic fracture or the sigmoid junction, the best patient's position would be right side down because it will wider the colonic angulation and you can pass it easily. In contrast, if you face with the right side angulation, the, the best patient's position would be left side down. When you face with your hernia, uh, Actually, if you can reveal the CT before the procedure and you, you fight, it will be the best. But sometimes it's, it's not available. Uh, if you fight it before you do procedure, maybe the best is, it is to repair, repair the hernia and then do complete colonoscopy later. Uh, in, in contrast for the groin hernia, if it, the colon go inside, uh, some some experts ex, uh, recommend that you can reduce the hernia and place in the in the coil and can you can complete the colonoscope. However, if you do it and it will be some struggling, you I think I recommend you to maybe repair the hernia first and do colonoscopy later. This is a. Uh, I can't refer to me because of the failed colonoscopy before, maybe because, for, because of the adhesion. So in this case, I use the water immersion technique. Usually I use the normal saline instead of the saline water because it produces less mucus when you do withdrawal. When I reach the sigmoid colon, I ask uh, my assistant to do early uh, abdominal pressure to reduce, uh, to prevent the loop forming. You can see that the patient with adhesion uh, will have the less the pain threshold, so adequate sedation is very important. Okay, right now I pass into the descending colon. If you have the scope guide, it will give you an idea that the what happened inside. So in this in this situation, I do right talk and pull back to, to unwind the ad loop like this. Okay, after I, I did it, I can reach the transverse colon. Luckily, in this patient, the difficulty occurred only left side colon. 
the right side, in right side colon intubation is the pretty straightforward. Uh, okay. Now I I reach, I nearly reach the second. Okay, this is the second. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for the conclusion, I have mentioned uh, how to deal with the difficult colonoscopy uh, by our methods, like I told you. But one thing I want to mention before before uh, end this uh, end this uh, talk, I want to talk about uh, you have to know when to stop. Be uh, some patients, especially with the patient. Uh, underwent the pelvic radiation, maybe you, you will have the, some severe adhesion and fixed resistance. No matter what you do and no matter what you try to collect, uh, you, you cannot, you cannot uh, fix, uh, collect that fixed resistance. So maybe it's better to stop and do the other modality like the CT coronography instead of try to pushing and lift patient for the colonic perforation. This is one of my key takeaways. Uh, thank you very much.